I'm an idiot. I've been looking around forever now for a program that we can use to create free graphics, only to realize there is one that I use every day at work that would be perfect for us. Let's talk about that. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Dr. Heels. Um, I am a streamer and a YouTuber. I'm over on Twitch. If you wanna come hang out with me sometime, I stream late at nights, uh, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Love to see you over there and we talk a little bit more about what we're gonna be working on today. Speaking of which, I've realized there's a tool that I use nearly every day that would work perfect for what we're doing on Twitch and that tool is Canva. Now you may have heard of Canva and you may even have knocked out a few social media graphics in Canva, but I don't think we realize the exact power of it, at least I did. We're about to fire up a series where we're gonna design an entire stream package using only Canva. Everything from our logo, to our banners, to our overlay, to our panels, and even our alerts. Did you know that Canva will let you do animation? So let's jump in. We're gonna design the logo, which will be the first part of this series. If you're watching it now, be sure to look up here in the corner uh, for the next video or look for on the playlist. Or if they're not out yet, be sure to sub to the channel so you'll see uh, when they come out. Let's get into it. Okay, so here's the thing. This is actually next day, Dr. Heels, um, because I recorded this whole video as well as another video yesterday and realized as I was editing it that I forgot to add my microphone to this scene. Pro streamer moves. So let's go ahead and knock out the logo we were talking about. Um, I've already done it once, so I'll probably speed through it, but I'll try to show you guys exactly how to do your own. Um, so yeah, if you're in Canva, this is what you're going to see when you first log in. I've made sure I created a new account and it is a free account. My other account is paid, so I get a few extra tools. Um, I recommend you looking into it. You can get it for 30 days for free. Um, I don't have a code or anything to help with that, but it is useful. Um, so first thing we're going to do here is we're just going to click on logo. There we go. So now it's going to pull up logos, but the main thing is over here on our left hand side, um, we have a lot of templates. Now, I already see your guys' eyes going right here to this gaming category. Stop it. Stop it now. Let me explain. These logos, in my, in my opinion, as a, a graphic designer, I've been doing design work and branding for 10 years. And for the most part, these logos are terrible for brand. They, like, I get it. They're very trendy, but nothing says small streamer to me like seeing one of these Fiverr logos, which is what I call them is Fiverr logos. They're templates. Uh, some guys, some people on Fiverr, like I've worked with an artist before that actually hand drew it out and did it all completely custom. Most of them are templates just like this that someone just sold you for $10. Um, ignore these. These have very little brand ability. We want to look for something a little more pro. Think when you're looking at logo creation, think of big brands. Think of uh, Dr. Lupo. Think of Nike. Think of Apple, Google. Like look at those logos. Um, they're not not these, right? Even Ninjas, who is technically a character logo, is very minimal and simplistic logo. Um, so we're gonna keep looking um, and, and look through all these categories. Just see what you find, see what fits your brand. Um, and that's another thing I talked about yesterday that I didn't talk about here is you needed to establish your brand. So what I would do is I would find um, a text editor that you like, something that you can type in and answer at least these three simple questions. Your name, what your main games are gonna be, and what makes you different? Now, to expound on that, I would also ask, I would also ask, who is my target audience? And go ahead and write in here, not everyone. Because I assure you, no matter how hard you try, you will never be able to reach everyone. You need to have a defined audience. Also, my cats are going nuts right now, um, so just ignore that. So right now for the brand we're going to be working on, I've already kind of created the brand in my head. Um, it's just a fake brand, but if you were interested in any of the files that we make during this process, during this series, um, you can go to the link in, my, in the description to my Discord and I'll have them all there for free. But this brand is Youthful Yeti. Um, now Youthful Yeti, he mainly plays Minecraft um, and a little bit of Fortnite. Okay. Um, what makes him different? We, uh, we already talked about uh, yesterday. You guys didn't hear that because uh, there was no audio. Um, but what makes him different is Youthful Yeti is actually um, studying music production. I don't know if any of this will affect the logo or, or even the branding, but it's good to have it out there. What makes you different? I um, mean, so you can incorporate that if it sparks your curiosity. Um, and his target audience, we'll say, is um, high schoolers in the U.S. 
Now, this is important because now you know your target audience, you know one thing that you might not have known beforehand, and that is your stream time. It doesn't make sense to stream at 2 a.m. on a Tuesday if your target audience is high schoolers in the U.S., they should be asleep because they have school the next day. So if, uh, if your target audience is high schoolers in the United States, then you probably need to be streaming after school and probably after extracurricular activities. So I think most kids that have uh, band practice or football practice or, or basketball, anything like that, they'll probably get out about five o'clock. So say you start up your stream um, at 7 p.m. So you stream Monday through Wednesday, um, 7 p.m. to uh, 10 p.m. There we go. That's right when they'll probably go to bed. You'd, and probably when you have to go to bed as well if you're Youthful Yeti and you stream Minecraft and Fortnite. Um, you're trying to reach high schoolers in the U.S. There we go. So this is our basic outline. This is our basic brand. Um, I may do a whole uh, video on branding yourself as a streamer. Um, but for right now, this is a decent start. Okay. So we're designing for Youthful Yeti. And so keep that in mind. Keep your brand in mind and your target audience when you're designing this. And so um, immediately, I see some pretty good logos, actually. Like, I think this is really nice. The box doesn't really make sense for our brand. For Youthful Yeti in particular. Um, but I think that is a nice logo. Um, it's funny, I just I actually just designed a client logo that that incorporated this uh, style. So it's kind of funny. All right. Um, anyway, all these are good. Not quite what we're going for. I already know what I'm going for. I'm just trying to show you guys a little bit how to keep looking. Um, these are all really nice because as you can see, if I click on one, um, these are animated logos, which that would look sick as your logo on stream with the, this animated fire. I'll show you how to get some animation and stuff like that later on, um, but this is a good option. Um, we have this one. It's got the little pop going on. That's pretty dope. That's pretty cool. I like the, now personally, if you look at my branding, I like this style a lot. Um, I like purples too. So yeah. Anyway, don't be afraid to explore and just keep looking. Now I did think about using this one for the Youthful Yeti brand because I feel like this kind of looks like a Yeti. It could definitely work. Um, I did end up going a different direction though. I mean, so I'm just going to grab something. I'll show you how to customize this logo. So um, say we're starting off with this. You can right click on it and just click ungroup. Um, now you have individual control. So the very first thing I want to do is I want to change the name. I'm not Red Lion Events. I'm Youthful Yeti. Okay. Now, obviously, the tiger doesn't fit, so we're going to get rid of that, too. Uh, we'll center our text back up. All right. Now I'm going to change the font. Now, there are plenty of free fonts. Notice anything with a star, that's not free. You have to pay for that. But there are tons and tons. But you see how that doesn't fit the Youthful Yeti brand. I would argue that doesn't either. Um, that certainly does not. You see how things have a certain feel. So this is a, this is a font I almost went with. And I'm not typically a huge fan of fonts that have a lot going on. But I thought for this particular brand, um, it would look nice. Um, this was another one that I kind of liked. But the, the font I did end up going with is this one right here. Uh, Adamu Regular. And then I went up here to uh, this one right here. And I adjusted my letter spacing out just just the hair like that. Okay. Now with the Youthful Yeti brand, what we did is we went with a black font. Um, and then I decided to go over to Elements and see if I couldn't find a foot to kind of give that Yeti feel. And so I just typed in foot. Um, and the, you see, there's plenty here to choose from. Um, that one is a little too like hyper realistic for what I'm going for. Um, so I end up going with just this one. And moving it over here to the side, giving it just a little bit of rotation. And, and then I already kind of decided I wanted the brand colors to be red and black. I think that looks really nice together. I'm throwing it right behind there. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it. That is the Youthful Yeti logo. Now you can play with sizing and stuff a little bit more, make it a little more perfect. Um, but here's the thing. If you're on the free version, you don't have the option to export as a transparent PNG. Okay, that's it's unfortunate, but you can't export... Uh, as a transparent logo on uh, the free version, which we definitely need our Youthful Yeti to be a transparent logo. So I'm going to show you guys a trick real quick, okay? So let's go ahead and download this one. Click over download, click download. Uh, PNG is suggested. We'll take it. You see transparent background is ruled out. We are not allowed to get that, but we can download it. And then I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite tricks, okay? We now have our, uh, I'll go and open it up. So here's our Youthful Yeti logo. You see the problem. There is a black box or a white box around it. That's not going to make it look very good when we put it into our stream. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to another website. I'll have it linked in the description as well, but it's remove.bg. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to take that logo that we just created. We're going to drag it over here into remove.bg. It's going to analyze it. 
and then it's going to remove the background. And just like that, we have our transparent Youthful Yeti logo. Now what I would do from this point is I would go back into, uh, back into Canva here, go to your uploads and go ahead and drag that logo. Now this is the one I created yesterday. Um, and uh, that's what, oh yeah, I forgot. I actually left a line the text yesterday um, like this. But again, this is personally, this is a style preference. This is up to you. I actually looking at it, I think that the centered text looked pretty good too. So anyway, you can play with that how you want it to look, but that's how you design your streaming logo in Canva and then how you get it on a transparent background. You bring it over here into your uploads and it is set. It'll be there every time you work on a design, it'll be there and you can just click it and drag it in just like that, okay? So guys, that is it. Now, I know I recorded an ending yesterday. I don't know how good it is, so we'll go ahead and record it again. Um, I am gonna be releasing videos in this series um, every, probably every week, maybe a little bit more frequently. I'm gonna try to get the series out very quickly um, because I believe that we can, we can design an entire stream packet. So again, that is everything from your logo to your panels, your banners, your alerts, your transitions. I believe we can do it all in Canva. So if any of the other videos are out, I'll make sure I have a link up here or I'll have them down in the description as well. Um, also sub to the channel just so you can follow along on the other videos I'm creating. I'm trying to help um, help others uh, learn to create their brand on Twitch um, and how to, to grow on Twitch uh, when we're rolling on a minimum budget. Like not all of us can afford Adobe 50 bucks a month. Um, and I believe there are enough free tools out there that we can create a really, really dope Twitch brand um, for pretty much nothing. And so if that sounds like what you're looking for, be sure to subscribe, come and hang out with me on Twitch. Um, I also talk a lot about design. I do design live on Twitch as well as play a few games. Um, so if you're interested in that, come hang out with me. I stream on Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 11 p.m. Central Time to about 2 a.m. Love to see you guys over there, and I'll see you next time. Yes. Excuse me. Then he immediately reported it. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I was just played like that.